Hello and welcome back to Bamboo Batu. We are on location in Maputo, Mozambique at the, um, what is it, the Forestry Research Institute where they research forestry, including bamboo. And as far as we know, it's the only institute in the country, at least in the southern part of the country, where they're researching bamboo. And it's pretty great to see what they're working on. But um, their research has raised many questions, as research tends to do. And one of those questions is, what species of bamboo are we growing? There's a number of different species. And as we know from experience, it can be really difficult to identify bamboo species. And so that's why we're here. So we're checking out this big old, big old clump of uh, tropical bamboo. And it's, uh, it's a pretty crazy clump of bamboo. It definitely needs some maintenance. There's a lot of dead wood on here. It's really triggering some of my obsessive compulsive <laughs> tendencies, but I'm dealing with it. I'm refraining from pulling out all this dead material and we're admiring the, uh, the fresh shoots and uh, the new branches. And we've got a special guest, my special friend, Natalia Riettegui is going to tell us what species yeah, how, uh, how we found at. out actually because, yeah, it's like it's a pain in, in the butt. We <laughs> like, like more, more, uh, more delicate about this. But, but, as, but we started, I still started doing my homework this week and try to, um, because I have more experience with Latin American species. But anyway, I did my homework and I started studying a little bit the description of the species. That, there are here in Mozambique, like the cultivated ones. And so there were two op options for this one, which were Bambusa Balcoa and Bambusa Bambos. And at the end, excuse me? Can I add something? Yeah, sure. There's, um, there's not a lot of bamboo growing in Mozambique. So oh, yeah. exactly. all the, the bamboo that we've come across so far, it's mostly been introduced species. So, uh, but there's usually there's been about four or five different species that we kind of see again and again. Mm -hmm. So we're pretty sure um, that we can narrow it down to that. Exactly. But it's, it's a little bit tricky. But uh, yeah, I'll let you go on. There's, there's like four or five exactly. different things to look Th that's for. That's the only thing that you can do. You have to start like narrowing, narrowing your options. Otherwise, it's going to be really difficult to, uh, to identify, to identify um, the species. So, with these four or five species, we uh, came to the conclusion that this could be either Bambusa balcon or either Bambusa bambos. And then we found out this, which look like uh, like thorns, but no, they are not thorns. They are thorn-like uh, leaves or thorn-like um, branches. How do you how do you know that, Natalia? Because if you do it like this, they are really. Uh, easy to break. They look, they look sharp and thorny, but they're, but they're actually kind of soft. They're soft. And See? so, so bamboos is a is a thorny species. It's one of the species commonly known as thorny exactly. thorny bamboo. Exactly. So that was a that was a clue. That was a clue. The second clue is that balcoa uh, has uh, shows a supranodal ridge. The supranodal ridge. Supranodal ridge. I love saying that. <laughs> so you actually have. The node is just the region between the su supranodal ridge and the uh, and the um, sheath scar, no. So this region will be this region will be the node in this case, and you if you see it like in the first the first uh, glimpse the first glimpse it will look like this is the node, but actually if you touch it there's like a ridge like its name says, no. It's a little bit tricky. Little um, bit. Might be more visible here. So we can zoom in. Yeah, or maybe. But when you put your finger on it, yeah, it's you quite, can you it's can quite... feel the little bump there. It's kind of exactly. subtle, but, uh, exactly. but uh, here that's the kind of stuff you have to look for. Uh, here, or maybe if you see it here, you would see the supranodal ridge. Let's see if here. we can the capture that. The supranodal ridge will be the part where the where the adventitious roots are, and down it's uh, here in the lower part is the sheath scar. And this part between these two are, is the is the node per se. Okay. Yeah, that's the second. The second. So we've got the branches. We've got the supernodal ridge. The, 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 the node region, another node region, region, and then the calm leaf, which is one of my favorite organs so for identification. Um, sometimes it's quite tricky also to see them because 
because at the first uh, glimpse it looked like like um, heart shaped and everything so I made oh maybe it's bamboo sa bambos actually but no when you see it in this part um, it's incomplete but it's mainly a triangle uh, no that shows no no auricles which are like some ear like appendices so yeah this is to totally different from the one from bamboo sa bambos and then the shoot also so the the branches the branches it was a little bit tricky to figure out from they looked a little bit thorny and then there were the the supernodal ridge is a telltale indicator for sure and then the, the comb leaf is really the the one of the key indicators mm -hmm. there's a new shoot the new shoots also like are the shoots are, interesting this, is, this, this is, one's very distinct this is very distinct also like it's a kind of uh, greenish with uh with with um, uh, brown pubescent, pubescent yeah, and also like the ones from bambusa bambus seem like to be more like violetish, so to say. So, so that's that's uh, the way that we came to the conclusion that it was bambusa bambus. So we decided at the end, yeah, it was uh, according to our expert here, it's bambusa <laughs> balcoa, so it's actually not bamboo is a bambos. it's not the thorny bamboo yeah. it's balcoa which is a really important species from india one of the reasons it's important is uh, because of the the very thick the thick poles they have very thick walls you can see down here the size of the very yeah. small hole in the middle very small what do you call that the internodal cavity very small on these. The lumen. Uh, or the lumen. And uh, the walls are very thick. The walls are not going to be that thick on the whole pole. At the base of the bamboo, the walls are much thicker. And as it goes up, they get a little bit thinner. But relative to other species, super thick walls. And it's also um, um, very interesting to note. To note, we, we harvested a shoot here. We saw, yeah, we found, this shoot was too big. This was too, is this too thought big? it wasn't going to be fresh and delicious enough, so we harvested the next small one. one. You, can small one. you can see the the also the the ants already taking the the sap, so to say, and or the the sugar. The, the sugar yeah, but the most amazing thing is that this was covered, no, and you can see like opening this the amount of organic matter that is that is produced. Just Super from, rich soil. Yeah. If you back, if we back up here and see what kind of soil we're dealing with. It's all pretty sandy here, mm -hmm. but with the, with the bamboo growing here, dropping all this leaf litter, the leaves break down, add to the soil, making the soil nice and dark. Yeah, here it gets, it's getting darker, Around the edge. you see it, yeah. getting darker, but here closer, you can see that... Uh, closer yeah. to, you get to the clump. This is not that, mm -hmm. that, uh, that black, but then if you take it from here, look at the color, nice color, due to uh, the, all the... As, as far as we know, they're not really fertilizing. No, they're these, not. <laughs> these plants, I'm sure. they're watering them pretty regularly. It seems like we've mm -hmm. seen guys out here with buckets doing a lot of watering, but mm -hmm. no, no fertilizing. But the bamboo creates, uh, yeah, creates a lot of biomass. The biomass goes into the soil, adds a lot of organic material. And that's why you can see that there's a lot of bamboos here. It needs a lot of maintenance for sure. And, but, um, Definitely needs a little pruning. Yeah. But it's thriving, and uh, as it thrives, it's building up the soil. Yes. And that's one of the reasons we love bamboo for the soil. Yes. Maybe you can you can show. It's a yeah. It's viewers. quite a cool spot here. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do another video later with some more bamboo. There's a greenhouse back there. They're propagating some bamboo and and lots of other trees as well. It's not uh, it's not entirely bamboo by any means, but one of the only, if not the only place in Mozambique mm -hmm. where they're, they're researching silvicultural research and in propagation of this the bamboo. Yes. So there it is. Bambusa Balcoa. Balcoa. Straight from India. Straight from Mozambique today. Yes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, tell your friends. Bye bye. And we'll be back with more incredible information about bamboo. Bye.